Hey, welcome to a look at what's coming in the world of JRPG and JRPG inspired games for July 2022. First up, we have Live Alive. Game never before released outside of Japan, but now done in shiny new graphics inspired by Octopath Traveler. This game sees you taking on the role of several different characters across time with a fun turn-based battle system. Coming July 22nd on the Switch Worldwide. It's been a long, long time since I had a chance to do something good and decent. A young prodigy, as strong in body as the young spirit, a worthy successor to my art. Cast flowers to the wind. I'll fight my way to the top, and the world will know my name. That thing's no god of mine, and I'm not melding with these freaks or anyone else. Traveller Champions of the Continent, a free-to-play mobile RPG sadly, set up in a similar vein to the original but with like in-app purchases and all the freemium crap. This is, this one I admit is not for me as I'm not a fan of the free-to-play free -play nonsense of the mobile game world, but hey, for those of you out there that do enjoy this, maybe this is the next great game, coming July 27th for mobile. Next, we have Lost Epic, a Souls-like 2D action RPG Metroidvania. I like. Well, that's uh, quite a mouthful. You step into the role of a god-slaying knight that must stop the gods and unravel the secrets of the world of Sanctum. Coming to PS4, PS5 and leaving early access on Steam on July the 27th. Next, we have Visteria Starga 2, the Sacred Sword of Sylvan Easter. From the mind of Fire Emblem creator Shoza Kaga comes this new strategy RPG. Well, when I say it's new, it's actually an upgraded version of Visteria Starga Gaiden, which only came out in Japan early in 2019. Will one of the masters of the SRPG genre strike again? Find out on July 28th on PC. Yuki? 
Next up, we have Digimon Survive, a long anticipated game that everyone briefly thought was, and was concerned was going to just be vaporware. This is the next instalment in the long running Digimon series, and this entry takes us on a new route because it's a cross between visual novel and strategy RPG, and it's coming to PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC on July 29th. <laughs> Surrounded by a mysterious, dense fog, filled with danger around every corner, trapped in a world swarming with monsters, where terrifying creatures roam the night. As if bound by fate, they must work together. They must trust one another. They must save each other. They must survive. There you are. You monsters. Last up, we have the massively anticipated Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This game, set after the adventure of the previous two, sees us in the world of Ionius, where two nations are at war with each other. This time we actually have up to seven characters in the party for the action battle system that's unique to the Xenoblade Chronicle games. This will be coming to Switch on July 29th. Let's go! What is that thing? You've got a real death wish. Now, kids, you share a common destiny. I felt her thoughts. There were so many, and then they were a part of me. How, how, how are, are you inside, inside me? me? Hold, Hold on. on. Are, are we? we? Let's get stuck in. Yeah, we'll do. So you can take that form via a strong desire or emotion. Henceforth. All orders are rescinded. Eliminate Uraborn at all costs. That is my revenge. It's payback for Nimue dying with her wish unfulfilled. It's a wild ride, this passage of fate. We got ourselves a nice little awakening. What? Why is my name on here? My way demands we fight. Come then, and test your mettle against my lance. I've never used this kind of blade before, but all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids, and you alone. Not that I have all that much time to spare, but soon. Finding a path that lets us all live, I will make that my mission. That wraps up the main titles. If you can find or know of any more, then please put them in the comments, and we'll see you again soon.